Devine set out to build his decade of delivery. In the privacy of the locker room, he set four goals for the team that year. To win the opening game, to beat the Sooners in Norman, to win the Big A title, and finally, to win a bowl game. Devine structured his offense around a stocky, self-assured field general named Ron Taylor, and he unleashed a devastating power sweep known as student body left and student body right. Led by two pulling guards, a blocking back, and the quarterback, the power sweep would open up holes and overrun opposing defenses. With Al Onofrio in charge of the defense, the Tigers quickly checked goal number one off their list by beating the SMU Mustangs 20 to nothing in the opener. Eight games into the 1960 season, the Tigers stood at 8 and 0, largely on the strength of their power offense and a swarming defense that had shut out SMU, Kansas State, and Nebraska. Up next would be goal number two, beat Oklahoma in Norman. But on the fourth play from scrimmage, the Sooners broke a long gainer and scored the first rushing touchdown of the season against the Tiger defense. Two minutes into the game, and Boomer Sooner was already ringing in the visitors' ears. Almost right away, you could tell he was going to, go, he was going to score because they ran a, a counter trap. They ran a fullback in the line over here, and we had 11 guys tackle that fullback, and he turned around, handed to the halfback, and when he broke through the line, our guys were all over here tackling the fullback. An over-aggressive, souped-up team. Blame myself more than I did the players. There's people shooting muskets off, and there's this crowd goes completely mad. So you take your headset off because you can't hear. So, but now you got a situation where your guys are out there and they got to do it on their own with no help from the press box, no help from anybody, and, and they, they gutted it out, and Norris Stevenson, oh, how he ran the sweep that day. I know we hadn't beaten Oklahoma, but we, there was no way we were going to lose Oklahoma. And the coach had asked me, he says, uh, I said, that place open. Even though they stop it sometime, it'll break. Now watch this pitch out to Stevenson. Mayor, Taylor, and Tom Smith do the blocking. And Stevenson is en route to a 67-yard gallop. Touchdown. And the last touchdown, I thought, in my mind, was the one that's most memorable because it, it required complete faith and trust in the team. And very basically, I, I was doing something that depended upon the other guys doing their job. And let me put it this way, it was one of those kind of things where I, got, I had no doubt they were gonna do it. And going for the land of milk and honey. Touchdown, 60-yard dash by Nora Stevenson. Then we went into the dressing room, of course, very happy and everything in here. Dan jumps up on that same table and 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 puts his hands up congratulating what well, we did it and we're proud of you to come back like that and then i know my mind uh uh went back to 1958 when he did the same thing except telling them we're going to come back to win and then i looked over and saw Nora stevenson looking up and he was really smiling and compared that to where he's sitting by the shower over there with his head down it uh it was really a touching sight, and I still feel it. It was a great, inspired team victory. And many of the seniors who had played in that 39 to nothing game came back to see I really uh, had some great kids over the years, but none greater than, than, than that. We came home and, and sedate Columbia, who had never really 
got overexcited about anything, except the Civil War. We couldn't believe it. And I'll never forget my, my they met us with all these fire engines and police cars. 10,000 people. 